know, me and Jason Derulo are like cook sisters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, me and JD. You are basically him. Jason Derulo. <laughs> Sorry, is Jason Derulo in the room right now? Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Welcome back to Semantics of a Nice Guy. Episode 7. I know, it's the 7th Blues episode. If we make it past this one, we got we, it in the bag. We beat the average. <laughs> we beat the average. Okay, so today Lando and I are gonna play a little game. Yes. It's called Would I Lie to You? Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the actual theme song to it? No. Okay. I don't, we could make a theme song. If you send us an email, we'll make a song that can be our yes. new theme song. Yes. But basically how it's going to work is if you're familiar with the... It's a BBC show, I think. So Lando and I are each going to state a statement. Uh, it can either be a lie or a truth. We're each going to go through three... I don't know if Lando's going to tell three truths, three lies, one truth, whatever, and he doesn't know my stories... We know each other pretty well. Yeah, we actually thought about it like maybe we know each other too well for this game, but we've come up with some pretty good stories, so I think I think we'll be okay. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, actually I was thinking about it last night. We should if we can like bamboozle each other today, then yeah. we, we'll learn something. Yeah. This is a get to know us. Yeah. That's the point. And um the loser. Oh yes. The loser gets hit with a baseball bat with a harmonica in his mouth. At the start of the next episode. That's how we're going to open it. Yeah, we're going to do it at the end as well again. Yeah, that too. Yeah, <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> so um, without further ado... I start? Yeah, you can start, okay, Lander. Uh, start. Ladies first. Okay. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I take you back to my childhood. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was five years old and I was at my prep school for the annual Fiera Fies which is just like a festival okay. that school has every year and there's like a band and it's just like the whole rugby field gets yeah. covered, right? I'm five years old and I get tired into the night. And mm -hmm. My parents are like, it's fine, sleep here on this cooler box, right? Cool, sleep on the cooler box. And when I went to sleep, I remember looking at them and I'm like, that's where my parents are standing, right? And I wake up, like, I don't know how long after that, didn't have a watch, and uh, yeah, my parents were gone. So I was like, oh shit, my parents left me here. So I walked around the festival grounds trying to find them. Mm -hmm. uh, I couldn't find them. Uh, and then couldn't find any of my friends either. They had all gone home. So uh, I attempted to walk home from there, um, which is not a good idea because it takes like half an hour to drive there. I got lost and eventually I got picked up by the police. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, no, this is a good start, you yeah. know. Okay. You I got you now. You were five. I was five. So this is 2005. Yes. At what was your school? Anton von Bo. Anton von Bo. Well, technically, I wasn't in the school yet. It was the, my brother was there. And what type of festival was it? What do you mean? Like, you say Fiat of Fierce. Is it like a carnival? Like Uplands Fest, kind of like our yeah, school festival? Yeah, yeah, like their rides and, and their like little stalls. And beer tents. Yeah, and yeah, so, exactly that. Um, no, everyone brought their own alcohol, actually. <laughs> so you went to go sleep on your cooler box? Yes. Your cooler box? Yeah. And your parents left the cooler box? Yeah, dude, my parents didn't leave me there. They were still at the festival. But you didn't know where they were. Yeah. And then you decided to walk home. Yes. And you walked from, what, the rugby field? Yeah. What do you mean? like Onto the main road? Yeah, just onto the road. Just to walk, walk next home. to the road, yeah. And you weren't crying? No, I was crying. I was sobbing. And you didn't think to go look for your parents? I, w I did. I spent like two hours looking for them. I couldn't find them. Okay. So... And then, like, I went back to the place where I slept yeah. a whole bunch of times and I didn't see them. So how does the, like, the road, is it a main road, a highway, is it, like, in a suburb? It's more, like, in a suburb, like, there are houses around the school. Okay. Yeah. And it's not, it wasn't too far away from Brooklyn Mall, actually. Pretty close to Okay, there. okay, so yeah. that area, okay. Yeah. And then the, the police found you. Yes, yeah, just like a patrol car. They drove by. Yeah, and they saw me walking And they alone. stopped a little boy and asked you where you're going. Yeah, I was a small kid, dude, I was, like, five years old. So they, came, so they came to you? Yeah. And then you got in their car? Yes, it was the police. And then what? 
And then they took me back to the school and then I found my parents. <laughs> this is a tricky one. It's a lie. Oh, you nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> Half of the story is true. Okay. I did wake up. I couldn't find my parents, but I ended up going onto the stage and the band was like, whose kid is this? Oh, uh, the typical. <laughs> yeah. um, it's like, uh, the core number plate, 3CM, yeah. MP. Uh, your lights are on. Your lights are on. <laughs> so exactly did, that, dude. Dude, that's wild. Yeah. I was literally on the fence. I was like, mm, it's a viable story. <laughs> okay. Hit me up with your first one. Okay. So when I was 13 years old, yes. um, there was uh, a shooting or like a culling of animals. Yeah. You, know, you know where my dad used to work. I'm not going to mention the name. Yeah, yeah. Close to Hector Spreit. Yeah. And then there was a section of reserve um, not included in the Kruger Park. And we were shooting out uh, Impala. Yeah, yeah. And he allowed me to shoot the first shot. Mm-hmm. And so we were on the back of the bucky and I cocked the rifle and like I was shooting, you know, the buck. I was yeah. shooting across okay. the buck. Yeah. Um, so a beautiful Impala Ram. Okay. First shot because I was like, I've never shot anything before. Yeah, yeah. You can have the first shot. So cock, load. My dad is like, okay, breathe out. Take it nice and slow. I was like, oh, yeah. Pull the trigger. Yeah. Mm, the ball is still standing. I was like, yeah. Um, did I miss? What's going on? Is the like scope out? Whatever. We go look. My dad is angry at me. He's like, how can you miss? <laughs> how can you miss the shot? You know, because yeah. now we scared all the animals away. And we like looking, and I'm like, oh, but how could I miss? Like blood squirt, yeah. like easy. Yeah. Come back. I shot a hole through my dad's bucky. Because the scope is higher than the barrel. Yeah, and the bullet lifts and as was, it goes. I was shooting across. I shot a bullet-sized hole through the inside and out the outside of my dad's back of his bucky. Uh, wow, okay. Okay, some questions I got for you. Yes, sir. So you said you were shooting, were you shooting across the, the back? Yeah, oh. so you know how a bucky, like so the camera, it's long ways like this, right? Yeah, yeah. So if this is the front, I was this side and I was shooting across the back. So I shot it the whole through this side. Okay, wait, so that's the way the bucky's facing. Yeah. Yeah. The bucky's facing and like this. And this is the front. Yeah. And, and that's the back. And I'm shooting across like that. And you're like standing that. at this, this side, side and you're shooting, shooting across. that side. Yeah. Why? Why but, don't you stand on that side? But how, where could I lie the rifle on that side? Isn't there, ba isn't there also trolleys on that side? No, there weren't trolleys on the back of the bucket. So Hilux without a... So how did you shoot then? How did I shoot? Yeah. On the back of a, you know, without... You guys have that cage on the back? Yeah, your, yeah. The some, roll cage. Some buckies yeah. don't have the roll yeah, cage yeah. on the back. So I was on the one side shooting across. Okay, but did you just hold the gun? No, I put it on the bucky. Oh, uh, on the roof? Oh, no, on the back. Oh, and, uh, so you weren't standing no, on the I bucky. No, I put the rifle on the back. Oh, but you were standing on the ground. I was standing on the ground, shooting. You know how you bucky yeah. skeet? Yeah, yeah. I, was put, I put the rifle on the back, on the side, yeah. and I was standing. Uh -huh. And the scope is higher than the barrel. Okay. And I shot, literally, just... I, I've got my answer, dude. I read. It's true. <laughs> It's a lie. Oh! <laughs> and it sounded like such a thing you would do. <laughs> My dad shot through his bucky. It was oh. him. <laughs> Which makes it so much a good, worse. A good twist. Because yeah. he's a good sh like, yeah. and he shot a fucking massive hole through his very, bucky. Very, very good twist. Okay. Okay. That was nice. You're Wild. one up. I'm one down. Okay. Hit me up with that next one. Okay. Here's my next one. Okay. Right. I Set take the you, scene. I will take you on my exchange trip. Ooh. To Europe. Okay. So I ended up going to Portugal for a week. Yes. And then the plan was to go from Portugal, still connect through Switzerland, because that's where we were. Yeah. And then from there, fly back home like we originally planned. Okay. So, but flying from one country in Europe to another country in Europe, your baggage limit is only 20 kgs. And you had obviously more. Yes. Okay. I had more coming back. When I went there, I didn't have that much because I bought a lot more. Okay. Right. Okay. And then, so we're staying with Raquel's um, aunt and uncle. and In Portugal. In Portugal. Okay. Yeah. And um, so our bags, 
for international flights from Switzerland to South Africa, you can take 30 kgs. But 30 kgs? Yeah, wow, for okay. international. Yeah. And then in Europe, it's just 20. Okay, right? okay, okay. So what happened was... Our bags, with both of our bags are too heavy. So she gave us, like, this old beaten up bag. Yeah. And she was like, just put the rest in here. And once you guys get to the airport, just, like, you can get rid of the bag, pack the stuff oh, back, back in, in your, your, your bags. In your bags. Okay, okay. Um, so then we're, like, good with all the limits. So do that. Mm -hmm. Take that bag as, like, a carry-on. Go to Switzerland, right? Get to the airport. We go, like... Go into the physical airport. We have like a three hour layover. Um, sit down, start like packing the clothes back over. Because okay. this bag is so like beaten, right? Yeah. So then, instead of going out of the airport, I took the bag and I pushed it underneath the seat. And then we were like, let's go get some lunch. <sighs> oh, <right?"> no. <laughs> oh. Right. oh, I'm literally going to. Go to the other side of the airport, go <sighs> get some pizza, right? We're like, okay, it's roughly about time for us to go check in our bags, you know. Walk all the way back to the other side because that's very close to where the, like, check-in counters were. Oh, no. We get there and they had sealed off that piece of the airport and there was a dude in a bomb suit busy walking towards that bag that we had left underneath the seat. So then I was like, let's just get through security before they find us. And let's get on our flight. Then she ran to security. They stopped us there for like an hour, dude. And I was so stressed. I was like, they know it's us. Like, we're going to get arrested or like, we're going to get fined. Keep in mind, though, the bag's empty. Like, yeah. all I really needed to do was just throw it in a dustbin. But I also don't think putting a bag in a dustbin, in a dustbin at is, an airport is, is, not good is much better. Yeah, exactly. So then, yeah, eventually they like let us through security and I like felt better. And yeah. I just haven't heard anything about that since. This is the wildest So How have I not... <gasps> Whoa. Okay. Okay. You better think about this no, one. No, I'm going to think... Okay, first of all... Yeah. So, you flew to Switzerland on yes. exchange. Yeah. Then you flew to Portugal to visit yes. Raquel's parents. Uh, Ach, uncle, aunt, aunt, yeah, aunt. Yeah. And then you flew back to Switzerland yeah. to fly back to South, South Africa. Africa. Yeah. How long were you in Portugal? A week. Okay. It was um, like five days, really. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Where do I even start? Okay. No, I, I think the 30 kilograms, I think you are right with that. I know certain countries, there are different limits, but I, yeah. I think, because when we flew to Europe, I'm pretty sure it was 30 as well. Yeah. Uh, I hope you're not grinning out of spite, like, oh, you <laughs> idiot is fucking stupid. <laughs> um, Lando, I don't even know what to, like, so you just shut, like, you weren't thinking. Have you ever yeah. heard of leaving? I was, like, 16 at the time. I didn't really think about Don't that leave your stuff. baggage unattended, yeah. and you just slip. So when you... It's weird, they didn't have those announcements in that airport. Oh, because it's 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 Europe. I mean, it's yeah, not it's, it's like, not Africa. It's not or yeah. Tambo. I think everyone knows. <laughs> so, um, how long were you gone before you came back and saw the bomb squad? Um, probably like two hours, because we had like three hours before Ooh, check in. Okay, and then yeah. were there a lot of people? Were there police? Were there security? Uh, yeah, there were like a few people standing around the tape, and then there was just one person like redirecting people, because it was like it was part of the airport that they closed down. And, like, you needed to get through there to get places. So, yeah, and there was a restaurant right next to the to that as well. They had to empty the restaurant. So it was, like, blue lights, bomb squad, dogs. No blue lights, but, like, yeah, not even the dogs. Works. Not even dogs. It was just the, the dude in the bomb suit and, like, a few. And people are shouting in Swiss German. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just people being very calm. No, no, I don't. I, I don't know. I'm, you gotta make a decision. I'm gonna man. say it's. Uh, I'm gonna say it's true. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's a true story. Very, Lando, what? very low point in my life. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what What do you think? I don't know. Why? I don't know. How? I don't know. Lando. <laughs> and Raquel was just like, "Oh, babes, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry." Yeah, I think we were both just like, just you, get out of here. You must have been sweating like a monster. Yeah, yeah, proper, dude. And you were 16. Yeah. 
Oh. I thought, dude, I legit thought I was in going home. You were like, oh, yeah, yeah. this is the end. Yeah. I mean, this And we were like three hours away from the town where we stayed for most of the, like, trip, so... And you didn't want to go back. No, not not just that. Like, those are the closest people we had to come, like, help like, us come and, help like, you bail out. us out. So they would have... Like, we'd be in prison for at least, like, <laughs> five hours. <laughs> Dude, that is a wild story. Yeah. I can't believe I haven't heard that. No, it's pretty crazy. You see, crazy. we learned something yeah. about each other. I actually can't believe I told you that. It's quite an intense story. Uh, yeah, it's, not, it's not one of my stories, but it's yeah. like um, I f- when we flew to uh, China the first time when we went on that exchange, we were at Oatambo and I walked. It's actually a criminal offense now. They can lock you up. Yeah. And we went through customs, and you know how I am when, like, I talk a lot and yeah. I love to make small talk. Yeah. And oh, did you make a bomb joke? Yes. So <laughs> the guy forgot to the, the guy forgot to check my bag. You know, it was super busy. Yeah. And I put my backpack on oh, and I and no, I tied my no. shoes and I started walking away. And the guy was like, Hey, 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 um He's like, I forgot to check you. I'm like, oh, it's okay. He's like, Do you have anything to declare? I was like, no, just a bomb, but nothing much. Oh no, he knew. <laughs> he knew, man. Uh they called me back. And they, they, they frisked me yeah. thoroughly, mm. checked my bags, um, and we were with teachers. Van Rienen was not Ooh. impressed. And that's so how it was a bad start to the trip. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That actually ties in perfectly with my second. My second Go home. ahead. So on this uh, trip, we went to China. Yeah. Um, we were at uh, Shanghai Station taking the you know those bullet trains yeah. to uh, Nanjing where we were staying so it's about a three hour journey on the bullet train which yeah. is super insane like I, I don't know if you guys rode them yeah like, we did one yeah they are insane but uh so we had like a competition between our group uh, it was actually started by Fan Rien and she said who because the Chinese fashion is crazy so yeah. they said whoever can take a photo with the most stylish person of the day gets yeah. a prize at the end oh. of the day either a meal or whatever or like we just made fun things yeah and at this station i was also dressed to impress i'm mm-hmm. gonna show you the photo okay i found this little we'll, we'll slap it on on instagram yeah we can really yeah. slap it on instagram yeah. i found this lady super she had like uh, a posse with her yeah um a security guard and like a publicist or an assistant, I don't know. And she had, and she was super dressed up and mm-hmm. people were making a super scene around her. Yeah. So I was like, oh, wait, I'm going to go take a photo with her because yeah. she, she looks super stylish. Yes. Go, took the photo. And about two years later, I realized that she is a, a Chinese pop icon. Oh, really? Yeah. Show me the photo if you can. I will. I even got it ready for this episode. Okay, so you took a photo with a Chinese pop icon on a bullet train. At the at the station. Uh, let me just go at to... At the station. Favorites. Oh, favorites. <laughs> yeah, because I, I just wanted to prove to you. Okay, okay. Hmm, that's quite a lot to think about, I must say. Wow, she is very short. I know, she's super tiny. Zoom in a little bit more on that. Hmm... Look at how she's posing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> the camera won't see, but... Uh, um, hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. See, my only problem with that now is, like, I don't see any people around, around her. Around Yeah. But I'm not going to make them stand in the photo. Yeah, but, like, it's not like you can get all those people to move just for the... No, it wasn't, like, fans. Mm. It was her people. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, okay. and I yeah. literally went, and yeah. she had, an, like, an assistant lady. Yeah. And I was like, ni <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, and I showed her my phone. I was like, can I have a photo? Uh, Max and Murray, they were, everyone was st- still standing there. Yeah. And I, w- I actually think Max or Murray took the photo. I can't remember who took the photo. But then I was like, um, can I have a photo? And I didn't show you the, the... I have other photos with her before she started posing. Like, she's first, like, a bit, like... Oh, uh, okay. Like this. Okay. And then I started going like this. <laughs> and, like this. And then she also started going like this. And I was like, oh. Okay, okay. And, uh, okay, yeah. And her... I actually Googled it again this morning before I came. Yeah. It's... Yua Hua. Yua Hua is the yeah. band. Yua Hua Super Glow. Is okay. the band's name, okay. and her 
uh, her name is Yishin. Yishin. Yeah. Okay. And okay. I didn't know that until about mm. uh, when I started at UCT. Yeah. And because I did Chinese. Yeah. And I was like, oh, check out this cool photo. And then this girl in my class was like, <laughs> she was like, That's you, she, she was like, it's you, she. I was like, who the fuck is Yishin? <laughs> I don't know. And then she's like, no, look, oh, look, no. look, look, look. And then, yeah. That's a true story. Please tell me that's a true story. It's gotta be, dude. Nah, dog. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, I did take a photo with this lady, but I... But she's not a pop star. I have no... Who, no, she actually might be. No. She, she had... Maybe. She, uh... Like, obviously, she didn't have security and bodyguards, but yeah. there was this other lady traveling Damn, with dude, her. that was such a convincing story. And... You even had the proof. <laughs> bro, she might be. Okay, anyway. So that means... Technically speaking, I lose already. <laughs> I've lost two out of three. Yeah, but I might lose. No, oh, there's only both. one left, yeah. Okay. You got both right. Linda, okay, so, so I lose this one, but we're still just going to do the last story. You have to redeem yourself. Yes, okay, at least. But I mean, that was, uh, like, that, mo- that one could have swung anyway. I thought you were like, I thought you were going to say it's a lie. No, dude, yeah. Like, I was really, I really had to think about it, but... But yeah, you bamboozled me. One, well done. Bamboozled. Bamboozled. Okay. Okay. Bang Here's it my out. last story, right? This story comes from O Week. Oh, you're gonna take me back again. I'm taking you to O Week. Okay, are we? First year. Um, Still on Porsche. Is literally like the first Saturday. So literally, we started O Week on that Friday. Okay. So it was from the Friday to the Friday on that Saturday. So, if, like, the first Friday didn't really, like, go that rough. Yeah. Like, I went out to a bar with a few new mates that I met, and Billy as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, we went out to, to a bar, mm-hmm. um, went to Boho's, uh, went, like, just went home early that night. I heard about, but who told me about Boho's the other day, and they were like, oh, I touch a nice place. Probably me. I quite like it. Probably. Isn't it very bohemian? That's yes, why it's called Boho's. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, a very, like, chilled alternative. How come you like, didn't take me there when we went? I don't like Did we not the, go there? No, I don't like where the stories Isn't go. Isn't that where we... I've never been Did there. we not have the... I'm offended. Did we not have the... Lo- <laughs> we did go there. That's where we had the low-flying Canadian duck fucks. <laughs> that's a shot, by oh. the way, at Bohemia's. Yeah, that's the place. Uh, we're going to plug bo- Boho's. Yeah, very, very awesome place. So if you have the in go check it out. Low-flying Canadian, Canadian duck, duck fuck. fuck. Yeah, it's a shot. It is horrendous. It will bamboozle <laughs> you. <laughs> okay. But anyways, right? So, went home that night, I was like, I don't really feel too good about going home this early, and, okay. like, obviously the town is still very new to me, so I took an Uber home, but it was literally, like, 200 meters home, up yeah. the road, Okay. and I was like, yeah, you know, maybe tomorrow night, like, I'll, I'll go a little bit harder. Okay. So, yeah. next day, get to, like, the O-Week activities and stuff, Billy and I are like, fuck this, we go to a different bar during the day, like, we're gonna drink, and we start drinking, Okay. okay. right? Start drinking there, go and do like our dancing practice in the afternoon. Oh, for, for fence, fence dish. dish. Yeah. Nice. After that, um, go drink again, right? Go to McDonald's, get some food. Mm-hmm. I go home. Classy, yeah. Right? I feel incredibly sick, right? I pass out on my couch. Okay. I wake up maybe an hour later, still pretty drunk. I'm like, I feel so bad for not going hard last night. Let me go hard tonight. The right. now straight big dick the energy. The now straight big dick energy. Okay. So I meet the boys at the LARPA and we just start hitting the robots, dude. Okay. Like four robots. And they slide you. In like two hours, dude. Just go for it, man. Okay, yeah. So that's what? That's 12 doubles in like two hours. Yeah, that's enough for me. Yeah. So Is your liver okay? Yeah, I stopped after that, dude. That was a, it's quite an intense part of my life. Okay. Went out to the club, still drank more there, blacked out. Yeah. Right. I cannot remember anything else except, like, I remember going onto the tin roof dance floor. Yeah. And I remember we were trying to get onto the, like, the top step. Okay. It's the last thing I remember. I don't remember anything after that. I wake up the next morning, right? I wake up in Universität Worth, lying right next to Campus Key. Missing a shoe, my right shoe, gone, right? And that's why I slept for, for the night, right next to Campus Key. I have no idea how I got there. I have no idea who I went there with. 
because I don't remember ha- having any friends with me there yeah. that lived in Campus Key. Okay. Unless they were friends of friends that lived with Campus and Key. And they were like launching you, okay. Yeah, and then I just walked home with one shoe. Surprisingly, my all my stuff is still in my pocket, which is amazing. <laughs> you see, this is a story that seems pretty true. Yeah. Okay, so let's break that shit down. Okay, go ahead. Okay. What shoes were you wearing? I was wearing my white All Stars, which I no longer have. These are my white Vans. <laughs> I had to throw that other shoe sure. away. <laughs> um, when you got home to your flat the first time and you passed out, yeah. were you passed out because you were like, you were drunk, sick, or you were like? Yeah, I was like, I was like, I think it might have been the mixture of like the drunkness and the like really greasy food. And did you pass out because like a uh, pass out like? Or I passed out like I was lying on the couch and no, I fell like asleep. No, like I sat down on the couch and I was like, Ugh. and then you fell asleep. And then I fell asleep, yeah. And then you woke up. How much longer later? You. Like an how hour. much longer? How much longer later? How much longer later? Yeah. <laughs> like an hour. And then you were like, away. Let's hit the boys at the lava. Yeah, I like I like phoned Billy. I was like, are you guys out? And he was like, yeah, yeah we're right at the, the lava. lava. So I met him there. And then you still on four robots. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Four robots. That was the that was the night where we decided on the limit, which was four. <laughs> and I think you did tell me there is a limit that it is four. Mm. Okay, then you went after the lapa. You went to tin roof. No, we went to catwalk. We went to catwalk, and you yeah. the levels. Which level did you get to? We were just on the first level. Okay. Yeah, we and didn't really go up to that level. And it was like our first time, so... Oh, okay, and then yeah. you were like... And who was with you, Billy and some of his chums? Yeah, it was literally like Purden, Quinn, um, Plumridge. Okay. All the all the guys. Eden I just, was out of with us as well. I just feel like... You just, I just feel like you just made up so many names. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> Plumridge. No, they just called them by their surnames. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, they just called him Plum. So then you went to Tin Roof. After catwalk, yes. After catwalk. Yeah. And you blacked out. Yeah. And you woke up at campus key. Yes. It's a true story. False. <laughs> yeah, I knew it was false. Redemption. Was <laughs> None of that is true. Redemption. <laughs> yeah. We did we did go out to Dilapa, but like it was a very separate occasion where we decided on the like robot limit. And it's three, not four. That's, that was a convincing <laughs> factor because you have told me when I came down to Stanford, yeah. you were like, four is the limit. Yeah. I was like, like four, four, that's like, that's you finished, dude, if you have four. Four. I should have known when you said no shoe. I should no, have known. Yeah. That was a bit, <laughs> I, when you said that, I was like, mm, yeah. I was like, no. Uh, uh, I'm going to be very honest with you, dude. I just made that story up on the spot. <laughs> no, 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 I'm pretty damn convincing, brother. Okay, uh, but hit me up with your last one. Let's that hear it, dude. Your drunk story ties in I want so well. I want double redemption. Double redemption. Okay, so this was last year um, at the University of Cape Town. Yes. So I was a mentor at Campus Key. Flex. Flex. Before I got fired. Not so flex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we used to have... Every Monday night, once a month, so not yeah. every Monday night, once a month, the first Monday of the month, we would go out mm-hmm. and it's called Family Feast. Yeah. And all the mentors would go out. We were eight mm-hmm. with Octavia, who was my roommate. She was the head of us. Yeah. And we went to a, uh, a place called, well, you know Fat Cactus, yeah. but there's a Fat Cactus yeah. close to where I stay in, um, I think it's in Salt River. Um, mm, yeah. And it was the first time I was really like going out, but it was a Monday night, so I had class on the Tuesday. So, and normally I don't do that because I work pretty hard, you know, <laughs> flex. <laughs> I work pretty hard. <laughs> um, so we went out, and obviously we were like, let's order two pizzas for the table because we have yeah. a, a budget. How many mentors are you? Were you? We're eight mentors yeah. plus Octavia, so we were nine people. Okay. And, um, so we, I think we have like a 3,000 rand budget. I can't really remember. It's quite a lot of money. Yeah. And wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we went in and Octavia likes to party. I hope she's actually listening to this. Yeah. And we ordered like three pizzas to share. Race, we just drank. We, we drank three, almost 3,000 rands worth of alcohol that night. Obviously, eight people, it's not that much. So drink, 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 drink. Mm-hmm. Shots, this, okay. that, going crazy. Yeah. It wasn't such a late night, but I was hammered. Like, I was, 
your fake story catwalk yeah. blackout i uh, hop in the uber back to campus key and now octavia and i stumble back into our room and i was like well i need to go to bed Ooh. i was like because <laughs> i have an 8 a.m tut yeah. the next day. i still had Ooh. an english tut yeah <laughs> and i get up at like half past seven the next morning and i am finished you know when the things aren't very nice yeah and you know when you have sudden movements and your head just wants to explode so i changed i couldn't eat anything i was on the sixth floor as you know and then i go down to the reception and i just see octavia sitting with her hoodie <laughs> on <laughs> with a tea and uh, i let you uh, i just sat at the desk i'm like octavia i can't uh, i can't handle today i can't handle today um anyway so i walk to the jammy stop it's like 50 meters it's just across the road yeah i get on but luckily i was quite early so i was around in the middle of the bus and i sit against the window and so there's a seat open next to me and yeah. i kind of put my hoodie on and i hold my bag on my chest and i kind of like yeah. fall asleep yeah. and the jammy takes it's quick it's about 10 15 minutes before it gets to campus but it makes two stops before yeah. it gets there yeah um so that's where i kind of lost my wits yeah and i woke up at a because now i'm new at two varsity i don't yeah. know where i am and i am literally sleeping on um, the jammy uh, no on this lady's shoulder next to me yeah but not like a student lady a lady like lady. A lady lady yeah. a lady lady and yeah. i wake up and i'm like oh i'm so sorry yeah i'm so sorry <laughs> and uh, and she's like no it's okay and but it's not okay you can see her face she's yeah, not she's happy like, and i'm like I'm so, I'm so sorry and i i'm like where are we and she says a name i think she said rochester whatever i'm like i have no idea where that is and i'm like new to varsity and how where am i get off because i'm like i'm not gonna go further on this route yeah order uber home i missed my tut i missed my classes <laughs> i just uber straight back to campus key yeah go to bed and like i see i got messages where are you where are you where are you then about two weeks later i was sitting in an english lecture and we had those massive walls yeah and this professor walks in and she sits up and it was the lady and it was her i slept on her professor's shoulder on the jammy probably Dude. drooling woke up in a place i did not know i'm gonna be very upset with you if this is a fake story <laughs> so um uh, bang your questions away I don't, okay okay i don't have too many the one inconsistency you had in your story was if you first said four pizzas and then you said three pizzas oh well, okay well. how many pizzas was it? no i can't four three <laughs> i don't know when you were on the bus yeah on which side of the bus were you i was sitting on the left side on the left side yeah so i was i okay. was sleeping yeah, like yeah. this yeah okay okay and i literally okay. i had my hoodie on so i yeah. woke up on her shoulder yeah. but i was still holding my bags yeah but she was sitting like kind of like off to the side no a she, she was sitting quite erect and she was just like <laughs> <laughs> and she just like she held my head's weight and that was the weirdest thing for me like why didn't she wake me up or why yeah. didn't the jammy driver wake me up when i was the only one on the bus how far back were you sitting no i was sitting right in the middle uh, right in the middle okay okay so oh damn it you're so good at telling stories <laughs> man <laughs> <laughs> wait let's just go back your yeah. first story was false false your second story was true no it was false the last one was false what was the last story again? the one about the chinese pop icon oh that was false yeah mm. but it had a lot of truth in it so he knew yes have you hit me with three falses ah. you've hit me with three falses haven't you uh, what's your uh, final decision I think it's true. <laughs> it's true! Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. Come that was on! That's a good story. That was a good story. <laughs> dude. Right, yeah, dude, that was a very good story. Well, that's crazy, man. Literally, 
And I saw her again afterwards because yeah. I went to go ask her a question and she definitely recognized me. Oh, really? Was, oh, that's so funny, man. I had, to go, I had to go ask her a question and she just looked at me and she like smiled and yeah. she nodded and I was oh, like... That's so yeah. embarrassing, Bro, I, felt, I woke up, and this was like in the beginning of Austria, I woke up at a place I didn't even know existed. Yeah. And I was so embarrassed. But I'm so upset that the jammy driver, but okay, they don't really care, but they... They didn't wake me up or say, "I'm yeah. sorry. Why are you sleeping on my bus?" Yeah, <laughs> dude, I don't, I don't think he would. He's got a job to do. He's yeah, got to drive like, a bus, uh, man. But they're such savages. But yeah. that was the wildest story. Yeah, that was crazy, man. Yeah, but yeah, I guess that decides it. Eh? I have lost this round. No, no, um, it's okay. You I will take it like a man. You tried um, your best. Yeah, I did try my best. Some really interesting stories yeah, came out yeah, of today. I'm very, not gonna very lie. Interesting, man. You almost blew up an airport, which is <laughs> no, the craziest. No, there was no bomb. Lando. No bomb. Is a national it was security an threat <laughs> in Europe. <laughs> Don't travel with Lando. Bottom actually, line. I haven't been back since then, so like I could actually be, and I just don't know. They probably like wanted posters of you up, and when they walk in, they're gonna shout and <laughs> yeah. freeze and be like, "What? Oh, ale, ale, ale. <laughs> Oh, dude, but yeah, yeah. dude, uh, I think that's what we're going to call so it. So wild uh, episode. Yeah, we'll start the next episode with my punishment. We'll, you'll hear... <laughs> 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 but um, yeah, that was awesome. The seventh episode, guys, we, uh, we, we got on the hill now. Yeah. Now it's up to you to just, just yeah. slant us with them. Just man. help us out a little bit, you know. Um, Leave us some likes, some reviews. Some like, comments. Yeah, the more you guys review, even if you review more than once, like it helps to get the podcast out there oh, so dear. more people can listen to it. And um, even, if, even if you guys just have pointers for us, what we can do different, uh, we'd really appreciate that as well. Yeah. Uh, send us an email. Guys. At, uh, Nice guy semantics at gmail.com. We will drop a mixtape if we get an email. Yes. No cap. Professionally done by us. By us. <laughs> and you can even comment a topic and we'll make it about the topic. Yeah. We'll make it yeah. interesting. Yeah, we'll s- maybe send it out onto Instagram. Just be like, give us some ideas for the song and then we'll just put, put that topic. The- Whichever topic gets the most like votes, then we'll sing about that. That's a great idea. I like that. Yeah. And if you guys have any wild stories, yeah, please send it to us as well. And yeah. then we'll, uh, you can email it to us actually. Yeah. And then we can read it. And tell, next yeah, episode. We'll tell your story. Yeah. And then we'll see if we can decipher whether it's true or false. Yeah. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram yeah. <laughs> at uh, Nice Guy Semantics. Uh, some more content on there for you guys. We post quite often, I'd say. Yeah, we do. And I think we're going to post more content. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll rack it up. Yeah, we're getting better. We are getting better. And then lastly, just go check out the Sarki Bartman Center for Women and Children in Cape Town. They're doing insane work for gender-based violence and crimes against women and children in South Africa. Yeah. Please donate, volunteer, whatever you can do. Like um, they can use every single piece of help. I hope they can, yeah. But that's us, guys. We will see you next time. Semantics, bro. Semantics. Semantics.